What's up everybody? Try Dell here. Making a short video about do's and don'ts before your first six star. Um, I'm trying to keep it under 10 minutes, so I'll just cut to the chase. First things first, do not plus 12 or plus 15 any low level runes. It's a waste of mana, it's a waste of time. You're not going to use the rune honestly past like level 20 or 25. As soon as you get into hell, you're going to start pulling 4 star runes. You'll be able to get 5 star runes early on and dragons and giants. It's just not worth it. You won't use it and it's a complete waste. Um, so that's first. Uh, second is you're going to want to make your first 5 star. Because honestly, as soon as you get your first 4 star, you're like, oh, this is easy. And then you're like, oh my gosh, I have to get a 5 star. And you make your first 5, five star, you're like, oh, this is pretty easy. You make your first 6 star, and then same thing. It just goes on from there. Um, my very first 5 star was the Wind Lich. I don't use him anymore. I actually I don't even have like runes on him anymore. But uh, I think it was, it was a pretty good choice. Because the Wind Lich can solo Hideni 5 on hell. And this is with... Actually, well... Let me just throw a focus rune on him real quick. Actually, I'll just do it without a focus rune. Without his, without a slot too. So you throw him in there. There's some fodder. I, let me see if I have. Uh, take. You three, sure. Okay. So your first five star, you're gonna want to make your fodder farmer. Same thing with your first six star. You want a damage dealer, you want someone who can farm fodder, so it just makes it makes it even easier to get your next 5 star, your next 6 star, and so on. Um, my friends, actually, I have quite a few friends who just started playing not too long ago, a week or two ago. And I told them to make their very first 4 star and first 5 star seek. Actually, the fire hellhound you start with. Because he can solo Mount Sizz as a 4 star just as a four star with crappy runes on hell by himself um which has really sped up the process i honestly think i was like level 20 something when uh i don't know i don't know probably level 18 to 22 before i had a five star and then i know i got my first six star at 32 which i'm pretty sure is pretty slow my friend is like level 25 or 26 hasn't spent any money on the game and already has a six star um and what he did, his first four star was Seek, the Fire Hellhound. And then he actually got the uh, the Fire Samurai and made that his first five star. And then six star and that his Fire Samurai can uh, farm to more three. Which is pretty good for him. Um, he moved along very quickly. But it, you know, it, it helped a lot have being able to fodder farm at such a low level. Edmat says you only get, with an XP booster, 2400 XP per... But that's a lot better than, you know, the 600 or whatever you get by soloing hard. Um, so it really, it really speeds things up. For a second, I thought he wasn't going to beat it, but he doesn't get hurt. Um, so it really speeds things up. Just being able to take one monster and raising fodder with one monster and being able to bring three fodder as opposed to two monsters or even three monsters like I had to do in the very beginning. Um, it really speeds things up. By the way, those of you who don't know, fodder is the the monsters that aren't good enough to, you know, five star or six star. So you literally just feed them to other monsters. And there he goes. You know, it, it was pretty quick. It wasn't too bad. Um, for a five star with no, with no like rune set or anything. Well, he has a rune set, but they're horrible and he's missing one. And we have some lag. There we go. So that's that. You know, probably like a minute and a half. You get 1800 XP. Oops, I did not mean to hit that. And then we have, um, go over to Mount Sizz, level 1. We'll take, don't want to take him. My Seek is 4 star still, and I'll show you his runes after this. And we'll take another, another fodder. We'll just take him for the fun of it. Yeah, it's fine. And so you can watch this. In case you don't believe me. And you you get your first four, four star at like level 10. You know, and he's super easy to awaken. He's super easy to max his skills. Um, so right off the bat, you know, my like I've three or four of my friends have started playing in the past 
week or two, and they've all done this, and they've all moved way faster than me. So I think as a four star, you have your first four star super soon. I think he's a great, you know, great choice. Obviously, you saw he just there was weak in defense on there, but he literally just hit 10k as a four star. I mean, these 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 monsters have like no defense or anything, but it's still pretty easy. And also, Seek has that self heal, so he you know he can do this pretty easy. Um, so here you go. You'll see. You'll see he gets it. And I'll show you my runes after. They're they're really, really, really bad, honestly. And you know what's hilarious is I actually use Seek in the arena, but I only use him for his uh his buff. The the I don't remember the name. Hey, there you go. Begin hunt. Increase attack and crit rate. And you'll see, and he did it pretty quick too. So and you can just take, you know, take three fodder instead of two. You bring two four stars along. Because one of my friends didn't listen to me, and they fed Seek, and, you know, kept the Water Fairy, and kept the Light Garuda, and whatnot, and he's considerably behind, behind, uh, my other friends. So, here's Seek's runes, here's his base stats, really not that good, you know, 5,000 HP, 750 attack, 300 defense, 130 speed, um, a little bit, you know, and raised crit rate crit damage is the same resistance all very low here are his runes i have fatal energy on him and as you can see i only have two that are plus nine and there are three star runes and then i have the rest are plus six so energy little speed buff and i have the speed fatal rune on him which is a four star this is a four. St the, all these runes i'm pretty sure were were white runes um so they were all farmed you know from actually it looks like this one wasn't because plus 7 accuracy and plus 6 defense on a 4 star looks like he was added on. But still, I mean, that's a crappy rune. You know, it's it's uh, it's not that good. So I do have, you know, the right runes and slot. Eh, I mean, slot 4 should be, you know, like crit damage or attack or whatever. But um, as you can see, it really doesn't matter what you have. Super low runes. But I do have his skills maxed out. Which are, on, they're really easy to max out, so it's not that hard. Um, so right off the bat, you know, you, far star, you 4 star seek. You start fodder farming, you start, you know, you get him up to five star, uh, or you, you get a different, you know, a different fodder farmer up to five star. But your first five star, you want to be someone who can farm, you know, hopefully Hideni five. Um, one of my friends five star copper and got him on vampire runes. They weren't the best vampire runes, but he was doing as a five star max copper, the, uh, the wind living armor was able to solo Hideni five right off the bat. So First things first, you want your fodder farmer. I, I made that way longer than it needed to be. But first things first, your first five star, your first six star, you want someone who can farm fodder. Second, you want to get into a guild as soon as you can. As soon as you can, start getting in these guild wars because you get some great stuff. Don't buy mystical scrolls. Um, either go for the legendary or get your Ifrit. I would recommend getting an Ifrit first. Because, you know, no matter what's a guaranteed Nat 5, they're all good in their own way. Um, Theomar is a water eye for it's my favorite, for, you know, for player versus player. But honestly, player, uh, player versus everything, I think, I don't know how to say his name, Akam, Akamamir, I think. The wind eye for it is a beast. He hits hella hard. Um, you don't want any of these either. The only time I would ever recommend using the, any of the summing pieces if you needed the fire marshal cat. The Water Marshal Cat, you know, the Water Grim Reaper. These are all used for the um, for the fusion. But, you know, you're probably going to get lucky enough to pull them before you even get to that point. Um, one mistake I made very early on is focusing so much on the fusion. I wanted a damage dealer. I did not have a damage dealer at all. I pulled Gene, but he's a single target damage dealer. And he needs, you know, pretty good runes. You have to get his crit rate up along with his crit damage and... All that kind of stuff. And you need vampire runes on him. You don't need vampire runes, but that's what he should have. Anyways, so this is what I did. I tried to... Because, you know, I saw such a high base attack on the Water Ninja when I was lower level. I had, I you know, spent a week or two because I wasn't able to fodder farm. So I literally built this team, right? The Water Inugami, who I thought was Konamiya. The, uh... Oh, no. My arena defense lost. Um, so I had the Water Inugami Awakened... I had who I thought was Konamiya, but is actually the Water Griffin. 
I had the Wind War Bear and the Fire, um, wow, I forgot his name. The Fire Yeti. All Awakened, all to Mac. I built a team so they could all do it together. Spent so much time on it. And then I go to fuse it, and it's not Konamiya, it's actually the Water Griffin. I have never been so pissed off in my life. I spent so much time wasting it on the fusion. Um, I would say push the fusion off, honestly. Just push it off. You don't need it. Come, you know, come push a shove. You're probably going to pull some of these from Mystical Scrolls, and you're not going to have to waste your time awakening and getting all these monsters. And then once, you know, you already have your first six star, you already have your fodder farmer, then start focusing on fusion because... The time that you spend leveling and getting the awakening materials for these guys can be spent on so much better things, it's not even worth it. So get your first six star, get your fodder farmer, and then focus on getting these guys. And you're probably going to pull a couple along the way, so it's great. I think I pulled everybody except Arjun, Jojo, Sus uh, Susano, I think his name is, and I can't remember... Akia, maybe? I don't know. I can't remember her name. I, I pulled four Water Undines, one Beretta. Yeah, you know, I didn't pull her either. So I pulled four Undines. I pulled Beretta. And that was it, I guess. But still, that's you know that would have saved me a lot of time. And I had to fuse all the rest. Uh, I still haven't fused um, the Wind. I can't. Oh, Katarina. I still haven't fused her. I'm pushing it off because she's mainly like only good in Guild Wars. And I don't have a Chloe yet. I have a Neil, but I, I don't, it's not worth it. So, that's that, honestly. And then, um, ah, use the arena as much as possible. Get in there. Do not waste your glory points on the scrolls. The same things. I bought three mystical scrolls with glory points when I was low level, and I regret it heavily. Um, first things first, you're going to want to purchase your devil mod every single week. Put it in your storage. Just save it until you get a, you know, a great monster to put it on. Um... I wasted mine on a lot of stupid monsters in the beginning. Don't do it. Just save it. And now I pulled, you know, I pulled two Nat Fives. This is my this is my baby. I pulled him like three days ago. I don't I don't even want to show you his runes because it's just what I had laying around. I'm at the point in the game where runes are my, my worst enemy. I have a team that can solo B10 now about, you know, 80% of the time. That's probably, that's being nice, honestly, probably like 60% of the time. And I'm just now starting to pull runes. But before I show you my set, this is his stats, right? 58% critical, 136% crit damage. That's not horrible for Despair Focus with a 4-star crit damage rune on there and a 4-star attack rune. Um, so it's hilarious. His speed is super low. I want it at least like 140. From it's, I'm getting into something you don't even need to know about right now. Um, so real quick to sum it up, you know, your first 4 and 5-star... I'm sorry, your first five and six star, make it a fodder farmer, make it your damage dealer. Um, it'll speed everything along. Seek four star can solo mount says to get you started as a low level. Do the arena as much as possible. Uh, it gets you like a pretty good amount of experience to level up and get more energy, your actual base level, and it gets you those glory points. So you can you can purchase these. You want to go with the sanctum of energy first, and then the mysterious plant. You know, you could do it. It depends on how much you play. I play like in spurts, so I want to get full energy first, and then I'm going to go Mysterious Plant. And then you have all these awesome buildings. You know, this increases speed. Uh, the Crystal Altar does health. Ancient Sword does attack. And then you have all their own, you know, wind attack. It's, they're, they're, they're fantastic late game. Crit damage. Um, and this is also the difference between you're watching these people who, you know, can... They can have Orochi... You know, Orochi, um, Orochi's the Wind Ninja. They can have Orochi, you know, solo Hodeni 5. That's because you have, you know, they have a lot of these buildings maxed out. And it's, it's just not, it's not realistic to have, you know, their monsters with great runes and all these buildings maxed out. When you pull this monster, get a decent rune set on them, and then you can't do the same thing. Well, it's because they don't have an extra 20%, and they don't have an extra, you know, 30% attack, and they don't have an extra 20% crit damage on there, doing so much more damage and going so much faster. So there's no comparison. Um, so get your first 6-star, kill the arena, farm the arena as much as possible. A lot of people put up a weak defense to keep their arena points low so they can glory point farm, so you can just sit there and farm those people. And then they'll attack you, beat your defense, and then you just beat their defense. 
you build up glory points super quick. Don't spend them on scrolls. Spend them on the buildings and your devil mon. Um, do not level up runes. You know, crappy runes pass plus nine, I would say. It's a waste of mana. And get into a guild. Start farming those guild points. Get your, you know, get your, uh, get your legendary scroll. Get your Ifrits. I recommend the Ifrit first. Um, and then once you have your fodder farmer, you know, focus on fusion, uh, Vermos, Vermos and, and Sig do not have conflicting summons. So, you know, work on them both at the same time. I got Vermos first and then Sigmaris. Vermos was a life changer for me. Um, I'll show you my Vermos right now. He's right here. So base stats, you know, 20, 20,000 health, 183 speed. So I have really high accuracy on him. You don't really need that high of accuracy. I have a spare energy. Um, I have decent runes, not the greatest. Plus seventeen speed's great, but again, I'm getting I'm getting, you know, too far into the point, and I definitely went over my ten minute mark. Um, but that's that's it for everybody today. Uh, it was just you know the to dos and to don'ts before your first six star, pretty much. Um, if you enjoyed it, like, share, subscribe. If you didn't, let me know in the comments why. Um, you know, I'm just here to help. If you guys have any recommendations, any videos you'd like me to make, by all means, let me know, and I'll do my best. Other than that, I'll see you guys later.